really? Oh, we're here and we're ready. I'm gonna make this less bright so it doesn't reflect so weirdly in my glasses. Um, I'll take Mickey. Not that though. Nope. Oh my gosh. There we go. Say hi if you get on. This is probably going to shake around a little bit. I'm going to try to not lean on my desk. I'm going to try to sort of avoid it. I have a tendency to want to like lean on my desk. And if I do that, we're going to shake. <laughs> so we're going to not do that. Hi, Nikki. I got on a little early. Shaky, 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 shaky. It's just the way my phone is stand. But I'm not going to drop my phone 500 times tonight. It is sturdy and stable despite the shakiness of my desk. So I'm going to drop some truth bombs on, on everyone tonight. Um, Hopefully you can walk away with some good ahas. Um, hi, Corey. So, um, yeah, if you're watching this later, say hello. Um, if you're watching this now, interact. Um, but I'm going to, um, yes, truth bombs and light bulbs. <laughs> truth bombs and light bulbs. Um, I'm going to start off, <laughs> I'm starting, we're like 30 seconds early, but we're just going to do it. Um, early is on time, right? We're going to, we got to be on time. So, um, and it's 10 o'clock where I live, so, and I've got a Blackhawks hockey game to watch in half an hour. So we're going to be, I, I actually wrote notes for this and, uh, Nikki will be impressed with that because she knows I'm more typically an off the cuff person, but then I talk way longer. So, um, yeah. So my, um, I'm just gonna intro myself and then I'm going to tell you a little, um, disclaimer. Um, <laughs> so I am Dawn Schaefer, obviously <laughs> that's what it said. It says my name. So you guys probably already knew that. Um, I am a director for team how I met your warmer and I've been with Sensi eight and a half years um, and it is my heart and soul and passion and um, my background is corporate training so I love doing trainings and helping people like see those light bulb moments um, and so my disclaimer is going to be that tonight no matter what I say don't feel attacked. Okay. I don't know. And I don't know most of you. <laughs> so clearly I'm not personally attacking you. Okay. But the thing I do know from a training standpoint, a training background and a sensi background learning myself is that if something hits you and you feel attacked, that's a thing to focus on. Okay. We only feel attacked when we're not doing something well <laughs> and, and we all have things that we're not doing well. So if you, if you feel attacked about something, write it down and create a plan to work on it. Um, and I'm going to give you some things tonight, but create a plan and work on it. Like we all have areas to improve on. We all have things to do. You aren't growing if you're not growing. You know what I'm saying? Like you're never going to, you should never hit the top ever. You should always be learning and growing. And so if you feel attacked by something, remember, I don't know you. I don't know your business. So write it down and work on that thing. Okay. Cause I get all the time that I mean, and I'm not mean. I am an eight. If you're an Enneagram person, I am very forward. I'm very direct, but it comes from a place of love and thoughtfulness. And, um, if you, if I'm saying it, it means yeah, it is, you're not growing. If you're not growing. Um, it, it comes from a place of thoughtfulness and wanting to see you succeed. It's not from a place of being mean and hateful trust. 
if I'm mean and hateful, we just won't talk. I just don't need you in my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> just being blunt. All right. So I want to talk about, um, just some really kind of like top 10 things to, it probably won't even be 10. I don't, I didn't number them. I'm just, I like a list. So we're going to call it like top 10 things to like really focus on in your business, things to really work on. Um, and I don't care where you are in your business. I don't care what your end goal is in your business. Like there are th certain things you just always have to do and things you always need to be aware of. So, um, the first thing, if you are sitting around and I'm just going to drop a big one right away. If you're sitting around on zero dollars month after month, Sensi might not be for you. I'm dropping a big bomb right off the bat. Okay. This is a, a business, whether it is a hobby business for you or you want it to be long-term that requires consistency. Okay. If you are not consistent and granted zero every month is consistent, but it's not going to make you money. Um, and so if, if you want consistency, if you want a paycheck, if you want this to go somewhere, you have to work your business every month. One of the big things that I had like truth bomb me when I was first starting was I was listening to a training and they said, work your business every day. Even if it's just 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, do something every day for your business, something, anything. And we're going to talk, I'm going to mention IPAs, income producing activities, but something IPA every single day something. And you can't tell me, I'm going to bust some excuses to you. You can't tell me you're too busy for it. Busy is a four letter word. Bye. Excuse it from your vocabulary. See you later. Everyone's busy. Everyone's busy. Truth bomb. Everyone's busy. And here's the thing, whether this is a hobby, if this is a hobby thing for you, guess what? When things are a hobby, they're things we like to do and we find time to do them. If this is a business, you have no choice but to set some freaking business hours and open your business on a daily basis. Target doesn't wake up every day and go, mm, should we open today or not? No, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't be Target if they didn't open. They're a business. You're a business. You open your doors every day. And you do it loud and proud and you do something for your business and you do it publicly and show it off. Okay. You have to work your business every day. A zero is not okay. Just straight up. It's just not okay. Um, you don't get paid on zero. And I don't know about you, but getting paid is pretty awesome. Um, most people come in, you can, it's okay to say you came into this for money. Um, it's, we all came into this for money. It's a job. That's why we're here. But zero won't pay the bills. Cool. Um, if you want this as a business, 200 is not an option. 500 is not an option. Not recruiting is not an option. I, tol I told you I was going to be really, really blunt with you tonight. Um, it is not an option. The minimum is not an option. If you want to grow in this business. The minimum is not an option if you want to pay your bills. Okay. If you have even one person underneath you or plan to have one person and are working towards that, 500 is your minimum. But girl, you ain't getting anywhere fast if you are only doing the minimum. Ever. Ever. Your customer base isn't big enough. You don't have the people to recruit from. You, you, you just, you have no consistency if you're barely scraping that minimum. And if you're excited about a minimum, we have another conversation to be had because a minimum again is not going to pay your bills. It's not going to create consistency. It's not going to create longevity. The minimum 
It won't do it if you want this to be a business. If you want this to be a hobby, the minimum every month. Your, your minimum, if this is a hobby, is 200 every month. Did you hear that? If this is a hobby, your minimum is 200 every month. If this is a business, your minimum is 2000 every month. There's no other option. And if you're not there, that's your goal until you get there. And then it's still your goal. <laughs> there is no other option. And I'm telling you, Nikki leads from the front. Nikki is doing what I'm saying. So like, I know this is, I'm saying this in a, in a place where your leader does these things, but you, 2000 is the minimum. 2000 is the minimum one, because it's a pay bonus, right? You get an extra 5% of pay on a $2,000 a month. It also means that you have a big enough pool of people that you have people to ask to join your team, people to ask to host parties for you. I spend 500 bucks a month on myself because I use the product. That is not impressive. Sorry, it's just not. If you're, if you're your biggest customer, which you always should be, a $500 a month shouldn't impress you. If you want this to be a business, a $500 a month shouldn't impress you. You want know, the difference between a $500 a month paycheck is $125 versus a $2,000 a month, $600. So really big difference. And that's just on your sales, not on the fact that you have a team and you're going to be growing. Okay. Huge difference, huge difference in the monies. Um, and so many people come into this and they see all the things everyone's doing all the things everyone's doing, all the things everyone's doing. I'm going to tell you, simplify it. You need a system, a plan, and it needs to be simple. 99.9% .9 of the stuff you see floating around is fluff. Get out of the stupid groups. The sensi groups are unnecessary. Your team group is all you need. This is all you need. And your workstation. That's all you need. Use YouTube learn some things. You don't need all the groups. Stop posting the flyers. Social media algorithms hate them. They're not getting you any sales. Stop posting your link. Your Facebook or whatever other social media you're using should bluntly show that you are a Sensi consultant. Your link should be easily accessible. Nobody should be questioning where to go to buy product from you. You are going to focus on sharing Sensi and stop selling it. A flyer, a link, a dollar sign, it's all sales. And salespeople turn people off. They unfollow you, they unfriend you, they snooze you for 30 days, they're over it. Focus on the share, not the sell, and the sell will come. Okay? So, Go to, your, go to your social media profiles. Make sure it's very obvious that you're a consultant. Make sure your link is visible. And then you're going to share Sensi instead of, instead of selling Sensi. When you share Sensi, that means you're using your personal photos. You're talking as if your best friend is on the other side of that status. If you don't know what that means, go look at Nikki's social media. I'm Dawn Gets Waxy on everything. You can go search my social media. All my stuff is public. You can search it. I'm not selling shit to anybody, but I'm sharing a hell of a lot <laughs> all the time. <laughs> um, if you're not using Instagram stories, Instagram stories are gold, man. People love interacting with them. I do. I stare at Instagram stories more than I stare at my TV. I will flip through Instagram stories all day long and people do like crazy. If you're not utilizing these things, what you doing? These are very easy, interactive things. Um, stop copying other people's stuff. If you go to my profile and look, I'm sharing, it's me. It's in my vernacular, my, my voice, my wording. If you see an idea that you like, cool, take it, run with it, but put it in your own words, use your own photos. Otherwise it doesn't sound like you. It's inauthentic. Authenticity is part of our brand. Okay. So I'm like saying a whole bunch of things. So I want you to simplify everything. I want you to get out of the Facebook groups. 
if you're in them and you feel it's a tool that you will utilize, stay in it, but unfollow it so it doesn't show up in your feeds and turn off notifications so it doesn't show up in your notifications. And then when you need it as a tool, go search for what you need. Otherwise, get out of the things. Get out of the things. They're all a time suck. They're all a waste of your mind. None of them are really being helpful. They're all stressful. It's a place where people go to commiserate on their misery. Get out of them. Get out of them. They're a comparison game. They're miserable. Stop. Stop. I'm not Nikki. Nikki's not me. You're not Nikki. You're not me. Like none of us are the same person. And your magic power is that you are you. Run your business as you. You are an independent Sensi consultant. Isn't that great? You're an independent Sensi consultant. We have a few guidelines that the Direct Sales Association slash Sensi give us, but you're an independent consultant. You're your own boss. You're no one. You're no one else. You're not required to be anyone else. You have no one else to look to go to to tell you what to do. You get to work your business. You're you. There's 200,000 other consultants out there. Why are they shopping with you? They're choosing you, not Sensi. They've already chosen Sensi. They've already chosen Sensi. Why are they coming to you? Right? So, do you recommend using our main everyday social media? I do. Um, so, do you rec she said Destiny says, "Do you recommend using our main everyday social media for sharing everything?" Sensi is me. Sensi is me and I am Sensi. Um, it is so a part of my life and my, and me as a person that I could never separate the two. And if you, if you go follow me, you'll see what I mean. Like it is literally just part of who I am and what I do day to day. Um, it is not a thing I have to think about. I'm using Sensi when I do my laundry, when I do my dishes, when I'm cleaning my counters, when I'm dusting my living room, when I'm um, taking a shower, like Sensi's just part of our, of my life. Like it's just who I am. And so I, I don't treat, I don't treat it like a business that needs to be separated from my day to day because it's just part of my day to day. Does that make sense? And so the one thing I will say is that if your social media, um, is being used for business, cut the negativity, cut the bullshit, cut the, um, politics and the controversial things and the thing, like none of, you're not changing anybody's freaking mind on social media. Go have the argument privately. If you want to argue with somebody about any of that stuff, like Social media is a place to build relationships and this is a relationship business. And, um, if I don't know about you guys, like if I have people in my feed who are negative all the time and throwing people under the bus and constantly posting controversial things, like I'm unfollowing you. So I don't see that crap because I don't need the negativity in my life. I, I, I absorb it and I don't like it and it puts my head in a bad space. So I'm unfollowing you. And if I've unfollowed you, then I'm also not seeing your positive things or your business things. Right. And so don't create a space where people want to unfollow you ever. That's silly. Don't do that. Um, and so like to me, Sensi is part of my life. It's just who I am. Um, I don't, have a way to separate those things out. And if you follow me, you know what I mean. Um, and, and here's the thing, stop being afraid of it all being combined. Stop being afraid of what people will think. Stop being afraid of other people's opinions. Those people don't pay your bills. They do not get to control what you post and what you do. And if they don't like it, buy. Those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Plain and simple. The people who are truly your friends and your support system are going to cheer you on all the way to the freaking finish line. They are not going to care two iotas that you are sharing Sensi in your everyday life. They're not. And I, in eight and a half years, if someone's unfriended me for posting Sensi, 
I don't know about it. And I f frankly just don't care. Bye. Like you weren't really my friend to begin with. If you can't cheer me on in the things that make me happy and you don't pay my bills. So like if you don't want to be there for it, then bye. I have a lot of people who cheer me on. I have a lot of customers who get me to 2000 plus every month. I have team and people, you know, like I have a support system. If you don't want to be part of that support system, then cool. Go find somebody else. But like at 30, at 36 years of age, I don't need everybody and I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea. So like, and I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? Like it's okay. We're not everyone's cup of tea and not everyone's my cup of tea. And that's okay. Like, it's okay. It doesn't hurt anything. We're all different. But for me, Sensi is part of me. It's part of my life. There's no way to separate the two and none of those people pay my bills. So you get both. Um, <laughs> hey, um, so, okay. I'm trying to make sure I like, dun, 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 dun. Um, customer based growth. Okay. So this is a big one. And I'm going to say this, um, because if you're, I heard this tonight, I was on a training before, uh, a leader training before I came to you guys. And one of the girls says, if you're not growing your network, you're not growing your net worth. I love a one liner. And that was mind blowing. And I was like, well, that totally applies to one of the things I want to say tonight. So your network has to continually grow. If you pull somebody out of it to be a team member, you got to have somebody to fill in that space, right? And never be afraid to take a great customer and make them a team member. They will do more for you, for you as a team member than they did as a customer. Promise, guarantee, get over the fear, let them be a team member. Um, but if you're not growing your network, you're not growing your net worth. Cause like I said, a $500 paycheck and a two or a 500 PRV paycheck and a 2000 PRV paycheck, very, very vastly different. Right. And that 2000 PRV paycheck brings you a customer base of continual growth and team building and so on and so forth. And so I think it's one of the first things that people get in their heads about. Um, they try to, they go, you go to your friends or your family or whoever first. And Nikki could act, Nikki, if you haven't done a training on your own team page about um, how you started with no support, um, <laughs> Nikki did not have a, a base of people who supported her when she started her business. She didn't. She literally had to go find people to make her business happen because her friends and family did not support her from the beginning. Um, and Nikki and I know each other through Sensi. So like I would have supported her <laughs> like I do now, but like, pe like people, she did not, she did not have a base there. And so, um, whether your friends and family support you or not work, like, like if they don't support you, you work until they do support you. They will change their mind if they see you consistent and they see you grow and they see the happiness that it brings you. Like they will ultimately change their mind. No doubt about it. I promise you they will. If they, if they're not there yet, go find the people who do support you. Post, like I said, post everywhere, share everywhere. Um, find some new freaking friends. People who love you should support you. Find some family. That's friends who are family. Find some family. Find find some find people who lift you up. Support system is you pick that. You get to pick those people. Um, and so find people who will lift you up and support you. Like your family may not be those people. Most of my family doesn't support me. That's fine. Make some new friends. Find some family. It's fine. Um, and so. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It only holds you back mentally. Okay. So go and find a Facebook group of, of something you love. Cats. I have cats. Legos. Clearly I love Legos. I'm a Disney freak. Um, I worked for Disney world, um, for a couple years at one point. I'm a Harry Potter nerd. Like go find groups of topics you love and get to know people make some new friends. The internet is a big place full of cool people. Go make some new friends. 
And when you become friends, they start asking things about you and they go to your Facebook profile. And because you just did what I told you, what I told you to do, you're going to update your Facebook profile. So there's no doubt that you're a Facebook consultant and what your link is. And they're going to ask questions. You don't have to be forceful about it, but like go find people, like get out of this like tiny little mindset. There are literally billions of people in the world and most of them have never heard of Sensi. The growth potential is there, but it's not going to come knocking on your door. But if you're not actively out there trying to grow your network, you're also not growing your net worth. <sighs> I love that. So, um, I talked about busy earlier. I'm going to say this, uh, if I, cause I don't know if I even mentioned it. IPAs only income producing activities. If the activity you are doing is not going to make you money, stop doing it. Samples are great. Samples are great if you're going to do the follow-up on them to make sure people got them and are going to place an order. If you're not willing to do the follow-up, one, you need to be doing follow-up on everything, period, and stop. Cool? But if you're not willing to do the follow-up on samples, then don't send the samples. Don't make them. It's a waste of time. Your time is precious. It is money. Don't send them. Postage is money. Like if you're not willing to do the follow up, the sample is pointless. It's a waste of time, a waste of energy, a waste of your resources all the way across the board. Cool. So whatever you're doing, cut the crap IPAs only income producing activities. It needs to make you PRV or it needs to get you a team member. So if you're busy, you're not doing any fluff, cut the fluff, cut the fluff. Cut the fluff. Cut it out, right? Joey Gladstone, anyone? No? Full house? Cool. Um, that was a good reference. It was good. Uh, set business hours. Set business hours. You're a business. It's okay to set business hours. There is zero wax emergencies. If a customer messages you at nine o'clock at night, it is okay to let it sit there till tomorrow when you are back in business hours. If a team member messages you at 10 p.m. at night, it is okay to let it sit there until tomorrow when you are back in business hours. There are zero wax emergencies. Home office ain't even open if you had to deal with it anyways, it can wait till tomorrow. There are zero wax emergencies, did you hear me? Zero. You do not have to be on all the time. In fact, you shouldn't. You will burn yourself out. You do not have to answer the second you get a message. In fact, you shouldn't. It'll burn you out. Okay? Set your business hours. Protect your peace. Got it? Schedule posts. There's lots of programs out there. Facebook has scheduling for groups. Um, Scentshare is great. Uh, Visly is another one. There's... There's several things that you can use to schedule. Schedule posts. If you're busy, right? We're stopping using that word. We're all busy. Schedule your posts. Nobody will know that you scheduled a post. It's fine. Then your business continues to work even if you do have a day where you get overwhelmed. Schedule your posts. Front load always. Stop waiting until the very last second to make shit happen. Nobody wants to hear you're panicked. OMG, I need the sale right now or I'm not going to be a consultant anymore. OMG, I need the sale right now or I'm not going to get paid a title. OMG, I need... That's the sale, right? We are not doing... <laughs> front load your load to the front. <laughs> front load your month. Get that 500 in early. If you're a leader, it should be in your first week. Get it in early. Stop worrying about that. Stop letting the minimum be a stressor. Stop that. And stop begging for the sale. Stop it. Share. Focus on the share, not the sell, right? And if you're sharing all the time, the sell will come. Stop. Um, <laughs> work smarter, not harder. Create drives for things on Google. Have albums on your phone um, for photos. Uh, utilize YouTube for training. It's all out there. Guys, the people who are at the top of this game share all their information, okay? And the only reason we're at the top is because we worked harder than you. 
that's that's a mic drop and when i realized it when i wasn't working hard enough i was like Fuck. okay cool so i just need to work harder and i can be where they're at like i just they're just working harder than me the only reason the person at the top is at the top is because they worked harder than you bust some ass girl you got this you can do it um and remember you can't change yesterday okay so if any of this felt like you were being attacked all of this is stuff I've had to tell myself in the past. Again, I've been doing this for eight and a half years. I've had to say all this stuff to myself at some point or had somebody say it to me, okay? If you feel attacked, it's not because I know anything about your business and I'm trying to attack you, right? <laughs> it's because these are just realities. They're things you learn, but I'm trying to make you not have to learn it eight and a half years later. I'm trying to make you learn it now so that in eight and a half years, you're like, well, I learned that at the beginning and my business soared. I didn't, I didn't wait eight and a half years to, to deal with it. Um, and so like you have everything you need is out there. Everything that you need is out there. Everything you need is in you. It is on you and you cannot fault anybody else for being further than you. One, their path is entirely different. The way they work their business is entirely different. The when they started is different. Their story is different. Everything about them is different. Stop playing the comparison game. Social media is the highlight reel. It is not real life. You do not see the hard work behind the scenes. And if you if you give them shit for being where they're at, you're discrediting all that behind the scenes work. Okay? So the only difference between them and you is that they are working a hell of a lot behind the scenes to make that happen. It didn't happen magically. Nothing in this business happens magically. No customer is going to come to you. You've got to seek them out. You've got to build relationships with them. You have to give them a reason to choose you every day versus the other 199,999 consultants. Why are they choosing you? If they don't even know you sell Sensi, guess what, boo? I'm taking your customer because they know I sell Sensi and I am sharing that shit everywhere. Everywhere. And they're not going to tell me they had a consultant. You don't own any anybody, okay? I don't care if they're your best friend. You don't own anybody. One of my best customers has a niece who sells you don't own your customers. You, they don't they don't have your name on them. So unless you're working your business, they are going to the person who is coming to them and who is passionate and is doing this job. Okay? That was like 5 million truth bombs tonight. I'm keeping it to half an hour. I'm going to go watch some Blackhawks. I will have my phone by me. If you have questions, Please drop them. I will gladly answer them. Um, but seriously, all of you guys have success in you, but you have to do the work. You have to do the work. Um, Destiny, social media is totally up to you. It is literally whatever you are comfortable with. But remember this. I like like I like Facebook and I like I like Instagram. Instagram is my favorite, to be completely honest. But um, whatever you, whatever one you're going to pick, whether it's one or multiples, like go in, have fun with it, share, 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 and all of it can be learned, right? Everything in this business can be learned and Google is a powerful tool. <laughs> so like literally I Google everything guys, everything, everything sometimes 10 times because I forget because I I have that kind of memory so like don't ev we all google we all have to train we all have to learn um and like I don't know everything I just know how to find the answers to everything does that make sense <laughs> I'm just a really good searcher <laughs> <laughs> and so, and anybody can do that. So everything in this business that is important can be learned. And so if you're not good at Instagram, you're not good at Instagram yet, go learn, right? If you're not good at Facebook, you're not good at Facebook yet, go learn. If you're not good at PRV, you're not good at PRV yet, go learn. It's all learnable stuff. If you're not good at recruiting, you're not good at recruiting yet. Also stop telling yourself you're not good at it. That doesn't help. Your mindset is everything, but it's all, you're not there yet because you have to learn it. But again, 
that's up to you. It's up to you to learn it. It's up to you to put in the work and the effort. This is a job. It does not come without the effort of putting in the work. Cool. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for letting me rant at you. I appreciate you. You have Nikki and she's amazeballs and I love her to the moon and back. And you are so stupid lucky to have her. I don't even know if you guys are aware of how lucky you are to have her. Um, and, uh, go make awesome things happen. Stop. Don't focus on September. Don't focus on October. None of that is here yet. We have a new catalog. Go bust some ass this month. Go put in two, 200 PRV tomorrow. And don't tell me you can't because you can tell yourself you can and go talk to some humans. All right. I love you guys. Go kick some ass. 